Welcome to a code report algorithm video. In this video, we're going to be covering two STL algorithms, std next permutation and std prev permutation. Std next permutation is an algorithm with linear time complexity, technically big O of n over 2, where n is equal to the distance between first and last that rearranges the elements in the range first to last into the next lexicographically greater permutation. So lexicographically here meaning just the order that you would find words in a dictionary. And we can note from our function declaration that it takes uh, two bidirectional iterators as parameters. If you're not familiar with the different types of C++ iterators, you can click on this link here for a video explaining those. And we can see that our algorithm is returning a Boolean. So it will return true when it successfully permuted the range that we give it, and it will return false when there are no more possible permutations. For std prev permutation, we have the exact same thing, except that our algorithm is rearranging the elements into the previous lexicographically ordered permutation. So let's take a look at a short and simple example. So here we have a short piece of code that takes a source word, word which in our case is stop, and it finds all of the possible different anagrams of that word. So I have a short dictionary here uh, using an unordered set, and we're only storing, storing the words that we're actually looking for, but you can imagine in a real world example, uh, this dictionary might be uh, set up using a try, and we actually have a full set of all the words in our possible, all the possible words in our dictionary. And the way we can find all our words is by sorting our source word and then by calling a short do while loop and in the while condition using the next permutation function. And uh, using this we'll be able, in combination with our dictionary, we'll be able to find all the possible different anagrams of our word. And if we run this piece of code it will output the following. So this is a algorithm that uh, you don't use very often, but when you do have a use case for it, it is very, very useful. And uh, I'll link a video here to a, a competitive coding video that shows an example of how to combine uh, pre-permutation with a, a bit mask to generate all the possible uh, sets for a given problem. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start. You can find all of the code that I use in my videos on my GitHub page. All of the links are in the description down below. And finally, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.